uh, actually our eyelids have a number of small glands. Eye boils or sty occurs when the opening of this gland is closed and the secretions within these glands pent up which then get secondarily infected. Uh, that is how styes generally occur. The treatment of these generally include uh, topical antibiotics, oral antibiotics and a course of oral anti-inflammatories. Uh, however, one should be wary of these styes because it can spread to the adjacent uh, ocular structures giving rise to the more serious preceptal or orbital cellulitis in which the eye and the surrounding structures become really red and tender and the child will have fever. So basically the styes should not be taken uh, lightly and a doctor should be consulted immediately. One can prevent styes from occurring because there are a number of underlying factors that uh, give rise to a sty. These include uncorrected refractive errors, constant rubbing or uh, itching of the eyelids, fingering the lids and undue eye strain. The do's would be a hot fomentation is definitely recommended that will help in localizing the swelling and will give child a lot of relief. The don'ts include that the child should not finger it much, the parent should not try to burst open the sty because that would lead to further spread of the infection to the surrounding structures and would make the situation worse. Well, uncorrected refractive errors is one of the commonest underlying cause for the sty to occur. What happens is that in uncorrected refractive errors, the child always tries, tries to keep rub, rubbing his eyes or make his, palpi, or make his eyes narrow to get a clear vision. By, uh, by doing this, the child actually kind of alters the refractive uh, power or the power of the eye to get better, better vision. And there are certain underlying organisms that are already present on the lid margin. In the attempt to do this, there occurs more stress on the eyes, leading to proliferation of these organisms, causing a style.